Okay, part two. Definition of a comfort zone. What is a comfort zone? The Oxford English Dictionary states that it is a situation or place that you feel comfortable. Or two, it is a situation that, or situation that feels easier to stay inside of, because with little or no effort, you can continue. Yet it yields different, yields inadequate results. To me, that just sums it all up. And refer back to your email to get those exact statements, um, those exact definitions, but that's pretty much what it says, okay? And to me, that tells you everything you need to know. Um, our comfort zone is there to protect us. It is there to make us feel good, and it is there so we can feel safe. All of us have created our own comfort zones for our own safety, and that's beautiful. That's the good thing about our comfort zone. The bad thing about our comfort zone is that it yields this inadequate result, just like the dictionary states. How are, our whole purpose here is to grow, is to expand. Growth comes from expanding. We are here to expand. And there are so many things that we want that are, are right at our reach, but we have this invisible barrier, and that is our comfort zone. That's around our comfort zone. Inside it, comfort zone. Outside it, outside the comfort zone, okay? That's why I love that picture. If you see that I've put up every now and then, it says comfort zone. It's a picture of a woman sitting in the middle. It's got the circles around it. Everything we want or everything we're striving for is outside of our comfort zone. Everything we have currently is inside. Now let's take a look at that. What we have may be just fine for some of us. You would probably wouldn't be on this video right now watching me if you had everything you wanted or if there was not something you were at least trying to obtain. But being inside your comfort zone, that is not just the kind of house you have or the car you're driving. It's also the things, the people that are in our lives. Look at your friends. What do they look like? It's the way we relate to others. It's our relationships. How do we handle our relationships? That's in, the way we handle them are inside our comfort zone. Sorry, I'm starting to sweat. <laughs> okay, so that is out of my comfort zone to sweat on camera. <laughs> so, um, so how we handle relationships is inside of our comfort zone, whether we like it or not. Um, what else is inside our comfort zone? Our emotions, the way we feel, the way we judge, what else is inside our comfort zones? The way we handle and talk and speak to one another. Where we are, our jobs. The way we talk to our bodies. Every bit of us are inside of our comfort zone. And sometimes, even if it may not feel comfortable, it's more comfortable than doing something different. What's on the, okay, so let me give you an example of that. It is uncomfortable for me to be inside of a, in a relationship where I cannot speak my truth, where I cannot feel that I am supported and trusted enough to be who I want to be, who I am, and show that and speak that. It is uncomfortable for me to be in a relationship where I cannot just be myself. So I stay in the relationship and be miserable. Why? Because it's more uncomfortable to create confrontation. It's more uncomfortable to stand up for who I am and handle what's put in front of my face. It's more uncomfortable to not know the, and predict what's gonna happen when I do it, when I do what I need to do to get out of this position. So although it is miserable to be inside this relationship, it is much more comfortable than to speak up, stand up, and then handle what happens next? Therefore, inside my relationship, inside my comfort zone, miserable relationship. Outside my comfort zone, freedom. Outside of my comfort zone, a relationship that I can speak up to. A relationship that will support who I am. That's outside my comfort zone. So what do I have to do? I have to handle what's in my space and I have to take it all in, and I have to learn how to be brave and apply a few techniques to move past it, apply it, handle it, move through the obstacle, which is the fear, 
and get on the out so I can be on the outside and create then and attract then inside my comfort zone a relationship that I can speak my truth. Okay? You capish? All right. So this is how what I want you all to do today. Right now. Take a minute. If you're driving and listening to me, don't do this right now. <laughs> if you're at home and you're watching this, so bring out your piece of paper, make a little comfort zone challenge, uh, mini series binder or notebook or something that you can keep all these notes on, okay? Preferably the one where you started and you wrote all your goals out. If they're separate pieces of paper, just make sure they stay together, okay? And what I want you to write and what I want you to think about are what is inside your comfort zone right now? What does your you look like right now and be as brave as you can be and tap deep deep down inside okay what's in your comfort zone right now is it what kind of house do you have what kind of real what does your relationship look like how do you handle people that you're not that you don't know well how do you handle your anxiety or do you have anxiety what is inside your comfort zone right now okay Take out a piece of paper, pause the video, and write it down. Don't take 20 seconds. Ladies, take some time with this. What is it like to be inside of yourself right now? How do you talk to your body? What's comfortable to you? Do you shame it or do you love it? How do you talk to yourself about the way you look? Do you shame it or do you love it? Okay, what does your bank account look like? Okay, what are, um, where is your job? What does it look like? Okay. What's inside your comfort zone? Pause the video, do the work, and then come back to me. Okay, I know that that could be both fun because there's some things in there you really love about yourself and you're proud of and you're great and we're going to keep those. And there's going to be some things that you may not like to see or maybe you're not fully aware of or maybe you're aware of it, you just don't know where it comes from or how to change it. All of that is okay. Where you are now is okay. Matter of fact, the more you learn how to accept it and confront it, the easier it's going to be to move through it. Because really what's going to help us get to the other side is wanting what's out there more than you want what's in here. Okay, so remember that. Next, what I want you to do is take a look at what you do want. What is outside that comfort zone? What does that relationship look like? What does the relationship with your child look like? What does your relationship with your money look like? How do you talk to your body? How do you handle things you can't control? What do all those things look like that are outside your comfort zone? What kind of house would you really have if someone said you can have whatever house you want? You can drive whatever car you want and you can have as much money as you want. What does that look like to you? Okay. Um, dream big. Shoot for the stars. But if it's, it has to be attainable. And what I mean by that, and why that sounds contradictory, attainable means you have to fill it. Anything's attainable. You could be living in a shack, and a mansion is attainable. But if, but, or excuse me, and a mansion could be what you shoot for. The only difference in how do you make that mansion attainable is for you to it, believe it, for you to fill it. If the goal is too big, if what you want is too far, that you don't know how to step into it or feel it, then let's take some baby steps, okay? okay that, don't confuse that with, I don't know how to feel happy because I'm afraid I'm vulnerable, so misery is inside, happy's out there, but I wanna be happy, I can't write that down. No, you can write that down, okay? So write down happy because you know you can f embrace happiness, okay? If any of what I just said was a little bit confusing, reach out. This is, what, this is what the group is for. What did you mean when you said this? How do you relate this to this? Ask my questions. Ask questions and reach out in that Facebook group. If, it's, if you're not willing to do that in an open setting, which is there's, gonna be, there's 12 of us, okay, that are all working on the same things, uh, same broad general things. Um, but if you still aren't ready to reach out publicly, publicly message me and I can explain more.
okay? So I'm gonna want you to pause the video, and after the video, I want you to, or pause the video, <laughs> or if you're driving and listening to me while you're driving or while you're doing something that you can't pause it, come back to the video, and I want you to write down everything that's outside your comfort zone, okay? Take 10 minutes, take longer than you did the first time, whatever that looks like. Okay, welcome back. It's kind of fun to see what's outside. Kind of fun, scary, vulnerable. What kind of feelings came up when you were looking at what's on the outside of your comfort zone? What kind of feeling was, were those? What did you feel? Okay, I want you to um, respond to the email or go in to the group, private message me or tell the group, what are some of the emotions that came out when you were seeing yourself coming out of your, or seeing yourself think about, and you were kind of feeling and what's on what's on the outside of where you are. Was it scary? Was it intimidating? Was it exciting? Was it a little nerve wracking? Was it like, no way, maybe there's a way? Was it like, hell yeah, let's do it now, girls? What came across your mind when you started looking about what's on your, outside your comfort zone, okay? Let me know, I wanna hear from everyone. And I'll start tagging you. If you don't let me know, I'm gonna start tagging you in the group. Hey, I didn't hear from your emotions. Tap in with me, I will do it. <laughs> so this is for you and your benefit, okay? Thank you all, thank you all for being so brave. What we're gonna start doing in the next session is taking a look at how we start handling this invisible barrier that's around us. Okay, it's gonna get good, it's gonna get groovy, it's gonna take a lot of courage, and it may not have taken as much courage as it took today, because I want to congratulate each and every one of you all right now. The fact that you're here listening to me this long, it took courage for you to understand there's something more out there. It took you to be brave and do that homework and confront it. Confronting it, Relating to it is sometimes the hardest thing that it, that to just get it started. It can break it all open and it could be the hardest step. So from here, it could get easier, okay? Thank you so much for being brave with me today. Hope, may you move into the week with all the courage you can muster up. Be brave so you can be free. I'll see you next time.